Hello guys, I trust we're doing fine today. So today I'll be showing you how you can download your fonts and I'll also be showing you how to extract it so that you'll be able to use it on the Pixel Lab app. So what you do is first you go to your browser. You go to your browser. So as you can see, this is sites where you can download different fonts. DAfont.com so you go to your browser, type in dafonts.com. Okay, so you've loaded. So in this site, you can download different fonts. So you can see. You can see already from here. Let's see now this. If I want to get this font. Alameda script. So what I need to do is just click on download. You can see the download. Let me zoom on it so that I see it clearly. You can see the download. So I'll click on download. Click on download. So you can see it's downloading. Downloading as you can see. Downloading. You can also search for fonts here. There's a search search icon. Okay, so this one is very large. You can see it's 4 MB. So let's open it. Okay, so you can see now there's two options for me to use to view this font. There's a, an app called uh, RAR, R A R, a RAR lab app. So if you want this, you would message me, then I will send the app to you, or you go go ahead and search for the app. So like I see, this is the RAR app open with ra, ra so i'll click on it just always let me click always so it's written the file let's dismiss this okay dismiss this okay okay now so you can see the the fonts alameda script personnel so what to do is we'll click on the font click on it like this then you see this um arrow that is pointed up here you can see it's beside the delete button this arrow here so i'll click on it now i'll click on it to extract it so i'll click on it so this is the file so if i want to extract it i'll click on ok but now i have to select the parts where i want it to be because in the pixel lab the, the only place that you can put your phone they'll be able to see it is either in the download um, folder or in font so let's click on browse i'll click here browse so you can see up one level we the storage that we are in now is under the rad lab so let's go up one level you see take one level keep going up we keep going up to we'll go to the main phone storage okay yeah so now this the storage for the phone storage already so you can see all the folder here so now i'm going to put this into my font folder so let me click on font font so this is where the the file will come out as an zip file so you can see now when i click on ok i'll extract the file and it will be unzipped yes so that's done so we're through with that. So what we need to do now is um take note of the font we downloaded. So let's move from here. Let's go to our, our Pixel Lab app. So when when we're in the the Pixel Lab, you will see now the font has been downloaded. Okay. So we're in a Pixel Lab app. So now let's go over to the side for fonts click on fonts so take note that once you have this app the pixel app have their custom fonts these are all the custom fonts but as you grow as a designer you you will be needing different type of fonts so once you've downloaded your first remember we downloaded it from dafont.com so now this is the custom uh, fonts then i'll go back to my fonts so these are all the fonts that I've downloaded. 
Remember I told you, you can, be, you can only access fonts either in the download folder or in the font folder. If you put it any further other than this, you will not be able to see it. So remember, let's search for the font we just downloaded. You can search for your font for easy distress. So Almeda, Alameda. So you can see the fonts. This is the font that we just downloaded. Click on OK. So you can see the fonts. So this is the font downloaded. So I'm sure with this video I've been able to help you out. Because some graphic designer face this issue, they don't know how to download font one, and they also don't know how to extract it. So once you download your font, it will be zipped, it will be locked. Let me put it that way. But with the Ralab app, you can unzip it. So thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next. Bye.